ICE 587. Uh, got another solar project on the go, so I thought I'd just uh, show you it all now. Uh, it's not finished, but going to be a bit impatient and put this video up anyway. Um, so what I've got is my 20 watt 12 volt panel in my window here. And that's connected to my solar setup via this cigarette light socket, which currently comes out the back here. Uh, it will be connected here when I drill the hole. And then I'm going to put a shelf in the top to fit an inverter. So when it's all closed in, everything's nice and neatly inside. I've got three 12 volt batteries in the bottom and my charge controller. Uh, looks a scramble of wire, but um, it does all make sense. I'll just show you around the front so then you can see what all that scramble of wire is. On the front here, I've got my um solar volts like in so basically if i turn that on i'm getting 13 volts directly from the solar panel so from the sun itself not via the batteries i'm getting 13 volts so i can uh, adjust my angle best lot of voltage and um, that's where that comes in handy otherwise that's not really needed battery volts so 12.9 volts not too bad Obviously, it could be better, but you know it will do. And then I've got two sockets here. Uh, one's from the load, and one's is, is this one's not connected up at the moment. Has only fitted it yesterday, um, but it will be connected directly to the batteries. Um, directly to the batteries, whereas the other one's connected to the load setting on here, so it's connected directly to this part here. Um, so if I was to disconnect the batteries, I'd still have power from the solar panel coming out of this socket from the batteries. Um, the USB sockets down here that were built into the tower already, um, I've managed to connect them to wire. Uh, I've connected them to another USB, so uh, USB socket and then into this cigarette light socket just to make sure that it converts the power from the batteries to 12 volts. That's it in there. I'm not sure if that would convert it from 12 volts to 5 volts, but um, I've tried it with this setup there, and that works. That's not connected to the batteries yet because I don't actually have a switch in the front. But once I've added the switch, then that will work as well. So um, rather than me having to constantly use this thing all the time, plugging it in here, you know, switch it on just so you can see that there is power. Um, yeah, so it's a bit more convenience, really, rather than having to keep that all around. Uh, I'm possibly planning on using the on and off switches on the front um, for a, an entire on and off for the whole system. And maybe attaching these. They're not actually connected up at the moment. It's just a reflection of the light. But these, I'm possibly thinking of connecting to probably the charge light and the battery full light on the fronts but I'm not too sure whether I'm actually going to do that yet or not um, but you know it's all a work in progress and uh, this is just the first video and uh, once I've updated it completely I will uh, let you guys have another video uh, there is a fan here as well by the way which obviously is there and um, that's mainly there for when I connect the uh, inverter in when I decide to put the inverter in, because obviously it's going to have the side, excuse me a second, sealed back on the side obviously, and uh, it's going to be enclosed, so just to keep everything nice and cool, I'll keep uh, keep the fan in there, and I can turn it on and off as and when needed. Uh, this wire here is for the socket, so I've already fitted to the side, they're screwed on, it's not going to come off. Um, for when the inverter is fitted so uh hope you like the video um any comments ideas for me to possibly do to it please whack in the comments below and uh they're all much appreciated thank you very much guys cheers